Hi, I'm Tracy Doran. Welcome to Behind the Build. Today, we're talking about land clearing and a lot, lot more. Hey Greg, how are hey, you? Good Tracy, how are you doing? Good to see <laughs> good. you. Good, you too. I appreciate you meeting me out here. Sure. Because you know I've been building for a while. Mm -hmm. My dad was a builder and a developer. And I'm actually working with a couple other developers yes. in getting into the development part of it. So I'm trying to learn all angles of it. And I know you do all okay. my land clearing for me and everything and just a lot of the single lots right. and the larger lots, but I need to know more about this okay. part of it. So talk to me about this. I know this is a development going in here, right? right? This is a big uh, development up in Shelby County uh, for a, a big contract, a big home developer that we do a lot of work for. Yeah. And uh, this is the last section uh, of Ardmore and uh, we're clearing the last road into the subdivision. You can see it's pretty wide. We've got all the trees cut and stacked here, ready to grind into mulch. Okay. so. The developer comes in here, stakes it all off, and tells you all exactly where you have to take the trees right. out to. Our clearing limits. Okay, and then do you, do you, some you keep, some you don't, or because of the grade? Right, the grade what? will change for the road and the elevations okay. of the houses that will be here. So all this will probably be filled and they'll construct a road in here and then these will be overlock graded for, for, for new homes. Okay, so even where there isn't a home, if the land has to come up, like maybe over in this area, you've got to take the trees out because right. obviously you can't, you they can't need, fill up They probably the need the material that's you know under the trees to fill in okay. for, their, uh, for the roads. Okay, okay, So gotcha. sometimes we have to clear a little area. Also, we have to clear a retention, a retention area in a low spot so the water can drain and then slowly be released into the streams. Yep. So I know it probably kills you taking down trees. It does. Because you are an outdoorsman. Yeah, I love trees. So, but I guess in the long run, when the homes go in and the homeowners put more trees in, then you get even fuller, more beautiful trees rather than a lot of right. these, what I call toothpick trees. Right. You know? And the trees don't go to waste. We don't burn them. We grind them up in the mulch. We yeah. sell the mulch. Uh, everything's recycled. Okay, that's good uh, to know. If there's any timber in it, we, we log the timber and sell it. Okay. So uh, it's used for different purposes. So it's all, you know, Recycled. Well, that makes me feel good. And I know right. it makes a, you feel good and a lot right. of people feel good. Yeah. So talk to me as far as the development part of this. Do are, are you coming in right at the beginning? Are the developers coming to you so that they can get um, the budget from you and everything? Are you working with them right from the beginning on yes. this? They give us a okay. plan. It's in the you know early stages and give, we give them a budget price. And then we finalize our number once they get a little closer, if there's any changes. Okay. And then they hire us direct or we'll work for the site contractor that actually does the dirt moving. A lot of cases we work for the owners or you know, right. the builders like yourself. Yes. And, um, and then we come in here and, and clear it before the, the uh, earth mover comes in and the site contractor um, moves the dirt. Gotcha. So really they can't put any utilities or the roads in Nothing. or anything. You are the first right. guys in here. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you've got the machinery to do it. Yes. You've got the big machinery yes. to, for putting in roads, developments, mm -hmm. absolutely everything. Yeah. Okay. You were telling me about a new machine that you have too. Yeah, let's go take a look at it. Okay. Okay, cool. I am so glad I got to meet with Greg today out here on this new development. I'm really interested in the developing end of this process and I've got to learn it right from the start. And tree clearing is essential. That's the, really the basis of starting the whole development. I think a lot of people don't realize that we have to take down these trees so that the developments can go in and everything can be at the right elevation. We don't have ravines, we don't have hills where we don't want them. And then after it's developed, we can put in more beautiful trees. After this development is finished, it will be more beautiful than ever. Hey. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'm good. Yay. Good to see you. We got a contract. Congratulations, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it looks you. It really good in here. 
weird. I know, I know. It's changed a lot since yes, you've been in here. Yes, it has. Yes, yes, it yes, has. yes, yes. So you have the paperwork for I have for paperwork me. for I you of the signed contract. And I appreciate it. They're I appreciate it. super excited to be in this house and yep. with this view. So. Oh my gosh, I know. And they're moving in from out of town. Yes. And so they have yeah all of this and everything, and it's fantastic. So, And I'm so excited because you were a one agent pretty much sale on this home. Yes, yeah. So that's exciting. That yeah. doesn't happen a lot, does no, it? No, it does not happen a lot. Yeah. And I probably showed them, I don't know, 15 houses, and yeah. this is this is the one they wanted. This, so. this was their favorite. This yeah, was their favorite. for sure. Well, I think it's pretty cool because even though this house started out as a spec house, it's still a custom home. 100%. They're doing, you know, they're doing a couple things they want in here, finishing part of the, yep. the basement. And yep. Uh, I mean, I think they're very excited yep. to be in Persimmon Ridge. So. Yeah. Well, I, I honestly thank you so much because oh. to have one agent be so good for both parties and work for that common goal to get them in the house, like we, you know, like yeah. we like to do, I think yeah. that, I think that you. means a lot, and they're so, they're so appreciative. So I've yeah. talked to them a couple times um, in in the past week about a couple okay. things. We went ahead and made the decision to keep the furniture bookcases that okay. I have on special order for here. Yes. So I'm hoping those will be in by the time because they are really cool. They are really um, neat. I saw a picture of them. Yep. And, you know, we had talked about with them maybe doing some built-ins here, mm -hmm. but those were just really unique, and I think they really like that. And, you know, we went ahead and had the mantle up, but we finished the fireplace brick and kind of did this look so it's almost going to look like, you know, that drywalled plaster, just kind of keeping it simple without a full fireplace around. So they sure. like this idea. Kent went ahead and got everything grouted in. So I think that looks, looks really great. Pretty. It looks great. Yeah. So once we get the fireplace started up, it still it doesn't have the finished sure. you know, unit on the sure. front. But yeah, and then we'll stain the mantle to match the floor. Okay. So Fabulous Floors is putting in those gorgeous, real light yes. uh, white oak floors. And then Barber Cabinets tomorrow is installing the cabinets. Oh, I'm going to have to come back back, I guess. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, and the other thing, uh, when I met with them, we finalized on the countertops. We went ahead, and I, I hadn't picked them out fully yet, so they got to pick, and we're doing uh, quartz countertops in the kitchen and all the bathrooms. Wonderful. So okay. they got to pick that. We, uh, you know, finalized kind of on the paint colors and everything, which they wanted neutral, so that was good. And they loved everything else. So. Okay. And yeah. I love the track decking out here. I know. I came I by and took some pictures the other day. Yeah, so no, and that Trex fabulous. railing without like, it's just so minimal with the black mm -hmm. that you, I think you just look right through it, see the trees, see the pond and everything. Have a great and view, yeah. I know, it's amazing. So, are there any more lots for sale? There are no more lots for sale. None. <laughs> Zero. None, none, none. <laughs> Maybe a couple resales will pop up or yes. something. So, yeah. you know, who, who knows, but. No, I, I think we're good to go, and I think um, I'm about eight weeks out, so I've been communicating with them on closing and everything, and I want to get them in here, um, you know, soon, so that I can, you That's know, excellent. close off that construction loan with River City Bank and everything, and get them into their yeah. final mortgage, and get them moved in. I think that's so. great. Hopefully the rains will hold off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else on your end? I don't think so. That should be everything there. Okay. okay. Congrats. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>Have you been dreaming of a gorgeous new kitchen, a master bath, or a lower level bar to entertain your friends and family? Barber Cabinet Company has been helping families create their dream spaces since 1948. From start to finish, they help guide you through the process, delivering custom cabinets that match your design style, organizational needs, and a product that will stand the test of time. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start blending your ideas with our experience. When it comes to plumbing, you don't want to trust just anyone. Thompson Brothers Plumbing is a family-owned and operated business that prides itself on continuing education, dependability, and quality service. From new construction and remodeling to general repairs and maintenance, Thompson Brothers Plumbing provides fast, affordable, quality service for both residential and commercial customers. Schedule an appointment online at thompsonbros.com or give us a call at 502-742-7500. Hold on to little things Don't ever let them go In a moment Everything changes Cause little moments They make a lifetime Right
right outside your door, there's a lifetime of memories waiting to be made. Are you ready, Dad? At Trex, we see it too. Visit Trex.com. For over 36 years, Grasshopper's Land Clearing and Tree Service has been helping residential and commercial customers with tree maintenance. From emergency tree removal to land clearing, Grasshopper's has the equipment and experience. Visit us online at grasshopperslc.com. So I want to give some updates on the Bourbon House. So on the exterior, all the brick is finished. It's not going to be the color that it looks like now. So what we've used is just a really generic brick that can be painted. So we've got to power wash it, give it a couple weeks to really dry out that mortar so that we can power wash it and then paint it. So it's orangish red now, but it's going to be a beautiful shade of white, which I've got to confirm with the client before we actually paint it and that will make the black windows pop. On the inside of the house, we're still finishing up mechanicals. We have one more room of the HVAC left to do above the garage. Mechanicals took a little bit longer on this house than normal, but that's okay. The client added getting the lower level finished and also the bonus room above the garage finished. So those things do extend the time of construction a little bit, but later, once they're in, those rooms are drywalled, we get this foam insulation behind the walls. They are perfect and they don't have to deal with them again. So now we have one more day of HVAC in this house. Then I've got a couple little punch list things on the framing, especially in the lower level to do and frame around some of the duct work. Then I've got to get Matt and his crew in here to do the air infiltration package and do all the caulking and the foaming around the penetrations. We get the framing inspection, the okay to insulate, and then we are ready to drywall. Next week, we're gonna go ahead and do the concrete in the garage to do the garage floor and also the front porch. And we're gonna do like a nice broom finish just to keep that more modern, sleek look out there too. The one most important thing in those areas is to put a great rock base down. You don't wanna fill porches and you don't wanna fill the garages with any dirt or any material that's going to compact. The rock will give the concrete the best solid hard base that you can so there is the least amount of movement in that concrete. The only thing I need to be doing right now is checking to make sure they just delivered enough rock to fill that garage floor and also check with the HVAC guys and make sure they're here in the morning. I'm back at the Kentucky Cottage and I need to have a really important meeting with Kyle and Laura. We have a lot of details that we need to go over. We've done a lot of work with the tile, Ken's putting all the tile in, but we need to go and talk about some of the trim, especially the built-ins in the family room area, the mantle and the brick uh, around the fireplace unit. So I need to meet with them so we can get that stuff going. Well, I really appreciate you all meeting me here today. So, and I know we spent the morning together at the tile store reselecting. So yes. are you happy about your reselections? Very happy, so much better. <laughs> much better, okay. Because we found out the variation in the floor that you bought from one of the big box stores for the hallway bath, it just had too much variation. Right, too busy. Too busy, okay. And Emma Kate's floor is gorgeous though. Love it. Yeah. So, yep, and then you have that real light, light, light pink mm -hmm. on the walls. Yes, first. First love, first light, yeah. Oh, who is that Sherwin Williams? Yes. Okay, that's gonna be so pretty. So I wanted to meet here. I've been out of town and, and, and you are all are off work today, so I appreciate it. So we need to get these built-ins going. So I'd like to talk about first is the mantle. Okay. Because we'd like to do the brick treatment, actually like what we did out at, down at the farmhouse. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go down and look at that and see if you like that. Where we do the row of brick here, and then two rows of brick on the, you know, the, the, the flat hearth. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see if you like that. Now, as far as the mantle goes, uh, we want to do like a boxed mantle here. 
and try to get it to match the floors as much as possible. Right, and to okay. coordinate with the island. Perfect, okay. I want you all to come over here and look at some of these dimensions. So how far do you want the mantle coming in on each side? We can do whatever you want. I had, you know, right at about six inches on each side because you're gonna have a thickness here, which, you know, we can go about 11 and a half inches thick there. Okay, the depth. I had, you know, about nine inches thick here. I just kind of do it proportion to the, you know, proportional to the room. And we thought, Scott and I, the term carpenter, thought the top should be here. Here's gonna be your brick, here's gonna be the bottom, here's this, and you can then start the TV right about here. So does it have to be so much distance away from the fireplace? You really don't want it too low. It, it does have to be a certain amount, yes, to keep it away for code. And this isn't gonna put out a ton of heat, you know, and it, it, is a, it is a closed unit. But you still, you do have the 10 foot ceilings on here in, in this room, so you don't want it too low. So we usually go up, you know, sometimes you even go up a little higher. I knew you wouldn't want that. Okay. But um, just verify this with me, um, you know, for like the height of your TV is now. Mm -hmm. We're at 60 inches here. Okay. Right now. Okay. My only concern is I want to make sure the TV is high enough so I can still put like seasonal decor on. on the mantle okay. and not obscure the TV. Okay. So that is my husband's biggest complaint. <laughs> When I put garland up here, mm -hmm. he always has to mush it all down, okay? And, and so I want you to kind of just measure out your TV, and if you want to go, you know, six inches above or whatever, um, you just have to alter your seasonal decor just a little bit. Okay. I actually got a little bit thinner garland for here. It's a little airier. So, you know, and then TVs now have such a little frame. Mm -hmm. But just verify this with me. And if it's different than 60, I, I want you to work on that tonight at home. Okay. Can we come out in the side? You any? can. Just Longer. Maybe just yeah. Sure. We can come out three inches on each side. Okay. That's not a big deal. Just They're going to gonna give, secure give this. Side height on it. Sure. Okay. So you all have your homework things for tonight? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We're good. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thanks. The right countertops make a big difference in the overall look of your kitchen cabinets, wet bar, and vanities. From choosing the perfect quartz or natural stone to fabrication and installation, Elite Stone Countertops will help guide you through the process. Family owned since 2004, Elite Stone Countertops offers quality service, a wide variety of products to choose from, and same day free estimates. Call Elite Stone Countertops or stop by the showroom to pick out the perfect countertops for your home. Corrigan Electric is the professional Kentuckiana electrical service contractor. If you have an electrical issue, you know us at Corrigan. Give us a call. Are you in love with freestanding tubs? How about tub fillers? Dreaming of a gorgeous faucet to finish off your farm sink? From creating the perfect master bath to your dream kitchen, BK Plumbing Supply Designer Amy Bray is here to help you every step of the way. With years of experience designing beautiful spaces, Amy will guide you through the process, helping you pick out the perfect pieces to create your space. Call BK Plumbing Supply today or visit them online at bkplumbingsupply.com. The Mulch Yard has a large variety of mulch and wood chips to help your landscaping pop. Need a place to dispose your lawn and land debris? Drop it by the Mulch Yard and let their team dispose of it for you. Visit tmyard.com for a full list of products and services. Hello, I'm Nikki Darnell with River City Bank. Construction loans don't have to be scary or difficult. From purchasing a lot, working with you through the construction loan, or helping you remodel your home, River City Bank is here to help builders and homeowners with their financial needs. We offer a variety of construction and home renovation loans, along with long-term financing and quick closing times. Call us or send us an email. We're happy to explain the process or go over any questions that you may have. Well, I appreciate you just letting me drop in here. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and check out the two options, and I think these were the ones that uh, you were talking about for um, our Kentucky Cottage. Yes. So, yeah, are th um, these are very similar. They are. So they're both quartz. 
They're both quartz. Okay. Um, pattern wise, how can a client look at this and decide the difference in the pattern? Do you go online to the company's websites? You can go to the company's website or you can uh, go in person and view them at the suppliers in the okay. warehouse. Okay, here, here locally. Here locally. Okay, yes. so a lot of these manufacturers that you all carry, can you go and look at this? Most of them, yes. Most of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really, really nice. So they actually have warehouses here to go and view those slabs. They do. And you all set that up for them to do that. Yes, we will. Okay, nice. Now, this isn't for this job, correct? Is this, what is this? This is quartzite. That's amazing. It I is. mean, it kind of looks like marble. It kind of looks like granite. It's kinda got a real exotic look. It's extremely durable. Okay. I'm a big fan of quartzite. It's beautiful. It is. Um, so this one has a, a lot, I mean, a lot of depth. It's bold. So. Pretty much you have granites like this. Natural you stone. You have mm -hmm. quartz. You have quartzite. Yes. And marble. Correct. I mean, are those the, kind of the big four? Yes. Okay, so what are some of the differences in them? I mean, what so, makes you choose one over the other? Quartzite and granite are natural stone. Right. So extremely durable. Um, I'm a big fan of them. Uh, we also have quartz, mm -hmm. and that is man-made. Man-made, okay. Yeah. But you do get the look of marble. Right. Just much more durable. Yes. Um, it's a solid surface, so right. you can just wipe off and go. It's, yep. It is great, you know, for kids and for spills and that sort of thing. But, okay. But this is by far um, the most durable, quartzite. Really? Mm -hmm. So is quartzite kind of the most expensive of all of them? Yes. Okay, typically. so you're paying for that durability, you're paying for the look. Yes. Are they more rare than uh, some of your... I would Marbles say so. I would say so. Yes. Okay. You know, and they have the exotic look, and um, they're just—they're really special. They are. They are, and it just seems like over the past couple of years, they're getting more popular. They are. Popular. So, yes. Okay. So when we pick something out like this, unless we're doing a whole slab, you don't want to just do a little powder room, in. I mean, unless you love it, and you know, <laughs> unless you have to have it. Okay. And that, but yeah, I mean, typically you would do a full slab and you know put it in a kitchen or full highs okay. or. Okay, so how do you guys feel about mixing the two? Could you put this on an island and like a solid color of a quartz on the perimeter of a Absolutely. kitchen? Absolutely, yes, you could. Okay, mm -hmm. so kind of one big pattern and then another solid? Yes. Because you wouldn't mix patterns. No, you, not. I mean, no, I would not. Yeah. Um, I okay. would do this on the island and give yourself more movement. Um, just kind of like eye catching and then maybe on the perimeter do something a little bit more just solid and subtle. This would also be beautiful. Um, the fireplace that you have here, mm -hmm. um, is that a quartzite also on that? Because it almost um, has that feel. That is a marble. That's a marble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. still a more but a natural stone. Okay. okay, so okay. it's great with heat. Right. Um, we don't typically put quartz on any fireplace related because the heat it is man-made with you know. It can be broken down with heat, technically. Gotcha. So natural okay. stone on the fireplace. Okay. So this could be done in slab on the fireplace hearth, around the fireplace. Yes. You could do a whole, the whole solid oh, yes, pieces the whole of it. Mm -hmm. It'd be beautiful. It so, would. Um, does it mostly come in three centimeters, or does it come in two centimeters? It does also? come in two, but typically okay. you'll see it in three. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's amazing. I just sorry, I saw that over yeah. there. So um, they still. It looks like they still need to decide which one they, they want. They do. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to stop in and kind of see what they were thinking. Yeah. Well, they can't go wrong with either choice. So. No. Nope, no. Nope, they just sure can't. No. Nope. These are perfect. Okay. I appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Thanks. Tracy. <laughs>
not helped us. No, it sure hasn't. It, it's been a rough day. Um, but I'm glad you did. I'm glad it did. You did drop it down because now we have the perfect fall to that um, natural ditch line yep. back there. And this is going to allow us to get all the elevations worked up, worked out up top here. And this house is going to sit beautiful on this hillside here. I'm here with Wendy Hayden with Persimmon Tree Realty and she is a great builder pro tip for us today. I think if you're interested in building you should try and find a lot as soon as possible. Even if you're going to sit on that lot for you know even a couple years it's better to go ahead and look at plans, get a builder, have them walk the lot with you and, and just look at all the things that need to be done prior to the start of a build. There's permits that have to be pulled and things of that sort. The sooner you start that process the smoother the process will be and the happier you will be. Thank you, Wendy. That is a perfect tip for today. No problem. Corrigan Electric can help make sure your family is prepared when there are power outages and severe weather hits. Call Corrigan Electric today and ask about our Briggs & Stratton generator systems. You know us at Corrigan. Give us a call. Need new flooring for your home? Fabulous Floors has you covered. Whether you're looking for carpet, hardwood, or waterproof flooring, Fabulous Floors has hundreds of colors and designs to choose from. Don't feel like getting out? Their virtual showroom, FabulousFloorsKentucky.com, allows you to see what the flooring will look like in your home and view their product catalog. With national brands like Mohawk, your flooring will look fabulous. Stop by a store today or visit us online at FabulousFloorsKentucky.com. Is it possible to fall in love with your home? To get goosebumps in the driveway? Is it possible for your home to withstand nor'easters and help protect you from fire? Is it possible to fall in love with your home before you even step inside? Discover the world of exterior solutions by James Hardy. Endless colors, textures, and design. It's possible with James Hardy. Thank you for joining us today on Behind the Build. Tune in next week for an update on all of our beautiful homes.